Yo, my name is Benjamin, and in this release, we're introducing effects in components. And I'll show you how they work. Here I have a navigation bar, and I want it to animate upwards when I scroll down and vice versa. We now have access to all effects directly from within a component. This unlocks tons of new use cases, and it also enables you to make your effects reusable. So I can go ahead and add a scroll animation. I'll set the trigger to on scroll. And here we can simply define our scroll effect. I'll set Y to minus 64 pixels. And I'll change the spring curve to be a bit less bouncy as we don't want it to pop back into view during the animation. This one looks good, so let's go back to the home page and give this a preview. As you can see, when we scroll down now, the navigation bar animates out of view. And because we were able to define this within a component, it works for all of our pages out of the box. Any page that uses our navigation component will now have this scroll animation effect. So this makes all your effects completely reusable. So that was our navigation. Let's move on to the header asset. Here, let's look at appear effects and scroll transforms. I would like to design a sort of gradual buildup of this UI. So let's start with the canvas. With it selected, I'll head over to the effects panel and let's add a new appear effect. By supporting effects, you can now also work with properties like scale and 3D rotation in your components. For the canvas, I mostly want opacity though. So I'll go ahead and customize the transition. Let's use a time of about one. And we can even preview these effects right from within the component. This looks okay for now, so let's move on to the other elements. I'll select the left hand panel and I'll also add a new appear effect here. I'll give this an offset X of minus 260, which is the width of the panel, as I would like this one to slide in from the left. I'll tweak the spring curve a little bit Add a small delay to it, which we'll tweak in the future. And I'll go ahead and copy this effect and paste it onto the right panel here. And here we'll use a positive X value of 260. And I'll increment the delay value a little bit as well. Next, let's grab the toolbar here and make it slide in from the top. To do this, we'll use a Y offset of minus 60 and we'll make the spring a bit less bouncy too. So those are all the main UI elements. Let's give this a preview. So you can kind of see what I'm going for here, but it doesn't feel right just yet. And this is just a matter of going back and tweaking the transition values and the timing of each effect. I'll give this one round of tweaks and then another preview. And this is closer, but I would also like to explore some staggered animations for the individual UI elements. And since I'll be using all of the same concepts that I showed you earlier in this video, I'll speed through this section. And again, the real magic here is that we'll be able to get this right for this section, and then we'll be able to use this section anywhere on any page we would like, and it will get all of the same effects. And we're back. As you can see, we now have a pretty cool gradual buildup of the Framer interface here, all using simple appear effects contained within a single component. Finally, let's use scroll transforms to add a little fake scrolling interaction to the site on the canvas here. I'll first select this parent stack and I'll add a scroll transform but we would like to control the start and end of this transform. And to do that, 
we'll need to use section in view. If I go back to the home page, you can see that this stack right here is also a scroll section with the name hero. So let me go back into the component, select the images stack, set the viewport to center. And then here we can now define a variable for the scroll section. I'll just rename this to scroll and we can later assign any section on any page we would like to this scroll transform. I'll set opacity and scale back to one in the from effect and in the to effect, I'll find a nice Y offset to move the final image into the middle of the canvas. I'll also add a transition to our transform. This will make the transform also appear smoothly when you scroll with a mouse and not just on a trackpad. And now on the home page, we can assign a section to the scroll variable. And if we then give this a preview, you can see that as we scroll from the start to the end of the section, our images also get transformed and they appear as if they are scrolling. So thanks to the new section variable, we're able to use section in view triggers within components. Finally, we can also add a little scroll transform to each individual image. Here I'll select layer in view as the trigger and let's set the from state to opacity zero. And then the to state is already just fine with opacity and scale set to one. And we can customize the transition as well. And then we can just copy and paste that onto all of the images. If we now give this a preview, you can see that the images not only appear as if they are scrolling, they also animate into view as we scroll the entire page. And all of this within a single component. And that's pretty much it for this video. We're super excited about this release and we can't wait to see how you'll use effects in components. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more updates coming soon.